Okay, just wanted to do a quick update. We installed this 2400 watt uh, output pure sine wave yesterday with these batteries. We ran the EG4 12,000 BTU direct solar input mini split overnight. There's no solar. So we have 2200 watts connected to that inverter and we ran this on 86 degrees overnight on dry mode and it's actually 76 in the garage than it was overnight. So if we look over here, you can see it's 76 degrees. And it's not even nine o'clock in the morning and we're already bringing in 1.15 kilowatts and 42 amps. So the batteries got down to about 45% and we're already at 60%. And it's only nine o'clock. So this is gonna work for us. I would say in another, um, by 11, 12 o'clock, we'll be definitely completely charged back up. We're gonna switch this over from dry mode to turbo mode to get it a little bit cooler down to about 72. And this is like 600 square feet. So we're going to take in, uh, Change this here and let's put it on turbo mode and it goes to 61 and that'll kick out some nice cold air for us. It'll actually really cool down this garage just by itself. It's actually this 12,000 BTU EG4 on turbo is actually doing as well as this one just running at 61 degrees normal. Um, so it does a really good job cooling down my whole garage being 600 square feet so but we have a winner i think with this one so you're going to need to go to at least something that can like a 24 volt all-in-one inverter pure sine wave and you could use two batteries like this uh lithium iron phosphate these are 3584 watt hours and 280 amp hour 12 volt in series for 24 volts so that's definitely going to work for us. And right now we're going to be running mostly off of our solar panels directly connected to the outside condenser unit of that EG4 mini split. So that's pretty much it. If you have anything you'd like me to test, you can contact me at DIYSolarGuy1 at gmail.com. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. See you in the next video.